All right, guys. Um, so what we're doing today is installing a catch can on the Jeep. Um, I noticed a lot of talk about boosted applications and I'm always trying to make sure I'm doing what I need to be doing, especially since this is a stock motor and the goal is to try and keep this motor as live as long as possible, right? We don't want to blow it. Uh, that's why we did the fuel system. That's why we did that as a safety measure. And now what we're doing is we're upgrading the catch can system to the Mighty Mouse wild setup. So if you guys can see it here, much bigger, uh, because right now the only setup we had was this breather filter on the oil cap and this non-vented solution over here that is technically just a, an oil catch can, right? For the excessive blow by that the Hemis have or whatever you want to call it. So we have to remove a couple things and install the new pieces and then we're going to be mounting this over on the side by the coolant overflow tank and it's going to sit up uh kind of taller in the bay so we're going to be doing that right now so first off we need to remove a couple things i've already kind of started off camera so poop. that comes off and then right here listen this uh metco thing is actually quite expensive and it's actually a really nice piece um but i'm gonna go ahead and be selling this uh you know it's brand new it has like five miles on it so probably gonna be trying to sell it for as close to brand new as possible um so then what we have here is the mighty mouse solution so this is their i guess their billet flange or billet oil cap that's vented um so it's kind of the same thing but instead of vented to atmosphere we're going to be uh, actually throwing it into a catch can It's nice and tight. And I'll put this line on real quick. We're gonna have to route the lines. Everything's push hose, which is fine. I prefer that sometimes over to an AN. Just makes life easier. So, all right. So that's that. Um, this next part is gonna be hard to see, uh, but I'll bring the camera over in a second. But basically, you go ahead and take your Mighty Mouse catch can. And again, I've already set it up. So I have the bracket installed, tightened down. I have the fittings on, tightened down, everything. You know, I really hope you guys can see. So, so we got the, um, the brackets on, it's tight. And it secures over here on this way with a, like, I don't know what you call it, like a, a tightening, I don't know what you call it, like a T tightening thing. Anyways, um, and then the fittings right here, again, push lock fittings, they're on, they're tight. And then we went ahead and installed, um, the filter on top so it uses one of the uh suspension bolts to mount so i've already went ahead and taken it off and let's get this thing in here and mounted all right well that's going to be interesting with that piece hmm. can't really go higher because i don't want it to hit lay low i'll have to get a zip tie for that so let's go ahead and move the camera around so here's the solution mounted as you can see it uses that bolt right there and then this line is going to feed into this side and then the back side is going to feed into the oil cap so now I just have to remove this. And again, I'm gonna have to figure out some sort of bracing right here because that's a large section that's coming out now from this oil catch can being removed. And again, I'm turbo, so um, yeah, it's gonna be interesting. So let me see if I can get the camera set up here real quick. Okay, yeah, it's pretty good. So that 
bolts out. Okay. So, and, uh, this is probably going to be a little touch and go. All right, so go ahead and got the catch can out. This thing has been on the car for since 2018, since so when I bought the car. It's been great. It's uh, never leaked on me. Honestly, the UPR billet tank thing, it's been great. So highly recommend them. Another thing is, is I have to now try and get this um, PCV valve out. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera. It's right down in here. So this one right here, I, don't know if you, I, I need to get that out because Mighty Mouse sent me one, right? Yep. So they sent me one that has, I can't know, there you go. Uh, they basically bored it out for me. So it's just gonna be a straight vent. So the valve is no longer in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause right now and come back in a second. All right, so I had to stop for a minute because I had a little technical difficulty. I actually dropped the, um, the PCV valve into the valley underneath the intake manifold. So I had to fish it out and that was a little bit of a pain in the butt. So um, in the meantime, I went ahead and made one line. So as you can see, it's a dash 10 out or across the top of the manifold and then into the oil cap. And then now we're gonna make the dash eight line to the top of the intake manifold. So right now I'm doing is um, just kind of getting it squared up to where it's gonna be on the intake. Yep, nice and tight. And then what you do is you just kind of run the line over and you try and make it look as nice as possible and then you mark it. So, go ahead and knock that out real quick. There we go. And then I'm probably gonna clamp this top piece just cause it's not a barb fitting, but. So I'm gonna go mark it. I'm gonna go mark it. I don't know if you can see it, it's like right there. I'm gonna go cut it now. All right, so that's it guys, it's done. Um, the drain is underneath. It's that like brass looking gold fitting in the bottom. Uh, I think you can see how much it fills up with the clear side uh, opening. Uh, but yeah, so dash 10 from oil cap to um, oil air separator. Uh, that's what this is actually. And then top of the intake manifold. So like dash eight line um, into the oil air separator as well. And then for now, we're going to be venting the, um, the PCV valve. I'm probably going to get a hose and, you know, get it in there and then run it like over here towards that and put like a little filter on it. Kind of like the one that's right there at the bottom. So 
this should be able to at least relieve a lot of uh, crank case pressure. We're gonna find out. Um, definitely is gonna do more than what the other system was because you know half of it was enclosed and other half was vented. So, yep, uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, again, this is the uh, Mighty Mouse Wild uh, oil air separator kit install on a turbo uh, Jeep SRT8 WK1. So, stay tuned.